Good morning children I am Anita ma'am and today we are going to continue with chapter 2 microorganisms children based on their behavior microorganisms can be divided into two classes first friendly microorganisms and second harmful microorganisms first let us see what are friendly microorganisms the microorganisms which are useful for us are called friendly organisms there are certain areas in which microorganisms are useful for example in the preparation of curd bread cake they are useful in the production of alcohol they help in the cleaning of the environment they help in the preparation of certain medicines and microorganisms also help in agriculture for improving the soil fertility first let us take a look at two bacteria which acts as friendly microorganisms first the bacterium lactobacillus helps in the formation of curd from milk second lactococcus which is used for curdling of milk Now let us take a look at the second friendly microorganism that is yeast. Yeast is a beneficial fungi. It is used in the preparation of bakery products and food items like idli, dosa, dhokla etc. Children yeast causes fermentation and this property of yeast is also used to obtain alcohol from sugar. yeast contains the enzymes zymase and invertase many microorganisms like bacteria fungi and molds produce certain chemicals which inhibit the growth of some other microorganisms such chemical compounds are called antibiotics the antibiotics in industry are manufactured by growing specific microorganisms under controlled conditions and these antibiotics are used in the treatment of infections in humans as well as in animals microorganisms also enrich the soil with nitrogen and increases its fertility for example blue green algae and symbiotic bacteria microorganisms also help in the cleansing of the environment by decomposing the dead organic waste of plants and animals into simpler and harmless substances that get into the soil and are used by plants